Good morning. Starting out the vlog in the bathroom. Um, I have not worn this robe in so long. I've had it forever and it just sounded so cozy this morning. So I've already been downstairs. Yar and I had breakfast and I'm so excited. I am going to get my hair done today. I really need it. My roots are so long. It's been kind of driving me nuts, <laughs> but I'm super excited. I was kind of looking at like some online Pinterest photos. I'm trying to decide if I want to incorporate like brighter in the front and then like darker, rootier in the back, or if I just want to go brighter all over. Maybe I'll try to just like go somewhere in the middle, but I'm also excited because I got a new product to try. It's from Color Science and it like blew up on TikTok. It's like this tone adapting buildable coverage SPF. And I guess you can like wear it as foundation. Side note, my skin is completely agreeing with this Dime Beauty routine. I've been using it for weeks, maybe a month. And like my skin is just, it, look at this falling back. <laughs> my skin's just really agreeing with it, which is like always so exciting when something wants to work. So I did the Gentle Jelly Cleanser, Super Skin Toner, then I do the Hyper Glow Serum and the TBT Serum. So I'm just gonna do all the skincare now. And then we're gonna go play with that new tinted SPF. Serums are in, I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit and then finish off with the Dewy Day Cream. This is not sponsored right now. They sponsored me before, but like, I just genuinely love. You guys know how finicky my skin is, so <laughs> love it. It's all clean and stuff too, so. The moisturizer a little goes like a very long way. You don't need a lot. We are all hydrated. My hair appointment is, I have to leave in about an hour, so that way I can do my makeup and not rush. But you know the drill, when you get your hair done, you gotta make yourself look cute or you feel like a naked mole rat sitting in that chair with the cape on up to your neck. That cape really loves to just accentuate the double chin. <laughs> okay, so here is the new product that I got that was on TikTok. I saw a bunch of people trying it. Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Flex. So the Flex is the kind that like they have different skin tone options and it's that kind where it's white and it will adapt to your skin tone as you rub it in. You know, it seems a little gimmicky, but the few people I saw try it, like it had like really beautiful coverage. It's buildable, protects from UVA and UVB light, pollution, blue light, IR, natural finish, SPF 50 plus, sweat and water resistant. Suitable for all skin types. It has niacinamide to soothe and restore radiance, non-commodogenic, dermatologist tested, and vegan. They sell it on Amazon, but they were out of um, my shade, so I ordered it from the website. So I'll link it for you guys. If you wanna try it, well, let's see how it goes first. Oh, we forgot to pull. We forgot to pull an affirmation card. So let's see what the universe wants to tell us today. I am worthy of the all the abundance, love, and amazing experiences I want. Yes. And then of course, I've got some coffee. Mm, delish. Okay, so I've given my skincare, <laughs> I've given my skincare a lot of time to settle in. Um, so let's give it a try. Here's what it looks like. I got this shade um, for fair skin tones. So we just put it on our fingers and rub it in. Allow one to two minutes for it to fully adapt to your skin tone. So it's white. And now we just, <laughs> we just rub it in. Kind of curious if this will actually be able to replace my foundation or if we're gonna need to put foundation over it. The color's looking good though. I feel like this is gonna be a perfect for no makeup days. But like the people I saw use it got like coverage. I'm not getting coverage, but I am getting like, I would wear this on a no makeup day. So here you go, letting it adapt. God, I feel like this one's not giving, maybe I need the darker shade. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think it's just, I think I'm just pale <laughs> and it's not gonna get like that much deeper. It is pretty, it's just, it's not giving me that coverage that I feel like everyone else was getting. It is buildable, so we'll see what we can work with here. But it is super pretty for, like I said, no makeup days. It just evens you out a little bit, you get that sun protection. Let's go in with some more. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Ooh. I'm kind of curious, like being buildable, you know, you can't get like a ton of saturation with this kind of formula, you know? Especially when you're like rubbing it in with your fingers, you can't get that much coverage. Maybe the people who I saw use it just had like, 
you know when people like already have like really nice skin <laughs> like i'm like red and blotchy the color match though is great like so great i mean i do really like how it looks like very natural finish glowy even me out i really like this overall feels good on the skin i have like i have a nice like natural glow it's sitting really like nicely it just looks very real i feel like it looks like it's just skin which is great but like it's a thousand percent not giving like foundation which is fine for some reason i think i just thought it was going to be like foundation but i love it regardless because on the days where i don't want to wear like full makeup I'll be wearing this. Actually, I'll probably wear it most days anyway, just for the SPF. But like, look at it, it's pretty, really pretty. I mean, you could wear this in just like spot conceal, but overall, I'd give it like a solid nine out of 10. Only for that one point where I thought it was gonna be like more. There's like a small part of me <laughs> that wants to see if I can build it up to a full foundation, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. And I don't wanna waste the product because I do like it, so. We're gonna do our normal makeup now on top of it. Let's see how it sits under makeup. Like, I don't know how it's gonna sit once I put, you know, other product on top of it, but I'm gonna go in with my favorite right now, the Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint. I just can't get over how good this stuff is. Oh, like, it's so pretty. I mean, actually so far, it's looking really pretty with the foundation on top. I almost feel like it kind of upped my coverage you know and it does give you that really pretty glowy natural base okay yeah i really like layering with that so if you want to do something full coverage it does sit really pretty under other makeup but that's all i wanted to try for a new product so let's just speed through the rest of my makeup You guys see Bruno in the back on the couch? I have not worn lashes in so long. These are the ones that I got on sale at Target, I think last week. They're one of those like jumbo wispy ones, I think. I don't know, I had talked about them in that vlog, but they're really pretty. And I did more of like a brown nudie lip versus like the rosy vibe I normally do. But I love this top, I like never wear this. I got it a really long time ago from Target. I think the neckline is so cute. And then to be comfy, I'm wearing my Arula Velvet uh, joggers. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now. I'm super, super excited. Like look at how dark, <laughs> look at those roots. So it's gonna feel so good to get a refresh. And I'm super stoked too because my Skims Valentine's Day order just came, so I'm dying to tear into it, but we gotta go. So I'll show you guys when I get back. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I'm back home. The hair is so good. I feel like the root is so blended. And she did some pull through pieces to brighten and it looks, it looks great. I love it. I also like, I feel like it's grown out a little bit too. I mean, we know it's grown out a little bit, but I'm trying to decide like if I wanna add layers to it. You know how like growing out your hair is always kind of awkward, but I love the hair, love the color. It just feels so, so good to have a refresh. So yeah, I like had her do a little bit more brightness, pulled through, but then um, of course, like with the roots, she ended up teasing it to make it more of like a blended grow out. So it like, it just blends so much better at the root versus like, you know, a direct stop harsh line so this should grow out really well okay i'm so excited to do this little skims valentine's day haul i'll link everything i don't know if it's still available hopefully but <laughs> your girl did a little bit of damage so first and foremost i got my first pair of skims slippers okay i'm back someone had to come and fix our microwave i want to say skims has had slippers before but i've never bought them so I'm excited. The whole collection was so cute. All the Valentine's Day drop was just so like 
I don't know, feminine and cute. There were cherries, pink, purple. Um, I don't know. It was just, ugh, it just spoke to me. Okay, so let's unbox the slippers. Oh my God, they're so cute. My slippers right now are from Amazon. They're so cute. They have cherries. They're super affordable. I'll link these too. But the thing is with these kind of slippers, I wear them like constantly. So I usually have to replace them within like a couple months because they usually end up wearing really thin or just like ripping at the seams. So these feel a bit more high quality. Even the bottom's really cute with all like this textured S, but it's hot pink and it has fuzzy skims written all over it. I do think they're super cute and they are very, very soft and just very valentines -y. Okay, so something I had to grab was this adorable soft lounge set. So as you can see, it's got cherries and skims written on it. This is one of my favorite stuff to sleep in. Um, the soft lounge tank with the matching boxers. It is so comfy. I don't know what it is about this fabric. It's like so stretchy, so cooling, so comfortable, like so nice for sleeping. I have um, probably like five of these tanks and a few pairs of the boxers, um, but I wear them a lot of the time. So I just thought this print was so cute. Clearly this was like my favorite um, print of the drop because then I also got a pair of the soft lounge pants here. They're just kind of like a classic pajama pant but in that same amazing fabric but they're just so oh, they're so comfy i love love lounging in these and then you can kind of like layer with the tank and then to go with those pants when i'm like just lounging and not wanting to like wear it to sleep i did grab the long sleeve henley oh it just feels so luxe so it's got buttons which i would wear with it unbuttoned but it just feels so great so i'm definitely gonna be lounging in this for a lot of the rest of winter. Okay, and then they had some really cute shirts with little phrases on them. I got the red one that says rom-com. So cute, just like this classic little t-shirt. It's nice and stretchy. I will say skims, like the quality feels really good to me. I've had a lot of my skims for like years now and it's held up really well. Um, Cause I know it's a little bit pricey, but it does hold up well. But it's just cute, really simple. Just a red t-shirt here. Like I said, it says rom-com and it is embroidered with thread. Super cute. And then to go with that, they had some hair clips and I am obsessed. <laughs> Look at this hair clip. I wear my hair in a clip almost every day. And it says skims and little jewels on each side. They had different colors of this too, but like how cute with this look together like with some jeans with sweats with whatever i love it and then the last thing that i grabbed is this pajama set i love a good pajama this set here comes with a pair of shorts and it's very very soft fabric and it's just this um white with hearts and this matching pj top is so cute it has the skims logo on this little pocket it is super duper stretchy and it's got like a cute little collar and it just is such a nice silky soft fabric but i love that it's stretchy i don't like pajamas that aren't stretchy like i i just can't do it so that's what i grabbed from the skims valentine's collection i'm gonna wash everything and wear it asap but like i think this would just be like such a cute a valentine's day outfit so i want to put these on now let me see how these feel on oh they're so soft you like my slippers so soft so soft oh they just feel so comfy on my feet i don't know why getting your hair done sucks the life out of you but it does and i'm so tired but i have dinner plans with my friend tonight so I'm meeting up with her in about an hour. I gotta find it in me. <laughs> gotta find, find the strength. Let me know if you guys grabbed anything from the Valentine's Day collection. And I'm gonna go head out in a little bit. Six and a half hours later. All right, you guys, it is 8.13. So I've had this makeup on all day. I didn't touch it up once. Uh, this lash is coming off, <laughs> but that Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint, insane. Even when I got my hair done, like she was washing kind of like my forehead and it didn't even like come off in a way that looked patchy or bad. 
I'm just so impressed. Um, and I really like that color science too. But like I said, I'm definitely gonna wear it on, you know, a no makeup easy day. But anyway, um, I had a really nice dinner with my friend. She complimented my hair and I am so excited to crawl into bed and watch a good show. I'm just using the Clinique Take the Day Off Mom. I'm glad I asked you guys if <laughs> it's worth seeing Mean Girls. I don't know, a lot of you guys were like, no. <laughs> a lot of you did not like the new Mean Girls. Um, so I'm deciding still <laughs> if I should see it or not. My friend and I were gonna see it tomorrow, but we're deciding if we wanna do that or just like hang out instead. I'm just going in now with one of these little face halos. And the combo of this takes off your makeup so well. But yeah, dinner was good. Really good to catch up with my friend. I just threw that Skims stuff in the washing machine. Maybe I'll wear that t-shirt tomorrow. Why does it feel so good to take off your bra and your makeup at the end of the day? So I wanted to just film this as like a chill daily vlog today because this is going to go up the day after tomorrow. But I don't even know what I vlogged. I feel like my life has just been like boring. I know you guys always say that like you're cool with boring quote unquote or chill vlogs. There will be some travel content coming up later in the year. But you guys know we live a pretty, pretty chill life. <laughs> okay, but really how do you guys keep these headbands from slipping off? So yeah, I'm trying to think what show we're gonna watch next. I'm still into 90 Day Fiance UK right now because I'm caught up on the other ones, but I just started season two of the UK seasons. I will watch any and all 90 Day Fiance, but you guys did give me some show recommendations, so thank you. But yeah, maybe I'll vlog a little bit more tomorrow before I end this one. Let's put on this night cream and call it a day. Oh my gosh, you know what? I watched a video of like proper skincare steps. I didn't know we were supposed to do our eye cream before moisturizer. I always do it as like the last step, so. Whoops. It does kind of make sense because I'm sure like the moisturizer is kind of in the way, but gotta remember that. All right, you guys. So yeah, I will, I'll vlog a little tomorrow, but that was my Friday. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, hello you guys. It is the next day. It is 7.30 p.m. Um, I'm sorry this vlog was so boring. I've been kind of doing a lot like off camera because um, sometimes, you know, you just want to just want to live life. But this vlog has to go up tomorrow and I still need to finish editing it. So today, <laughs> let me give you a rundown on my Saturday today. So went to our friend's house and she recently moved into a new house. I actually showed it during a Vlogmas and she wanted to look at home goods for some stuff. Naturally, I ended up getting a couple of things. We went to Marshalls and Home Goods. I did get these um, bath towels from DKNY because the ones in our upstairs bathroom are, you know, after a while they just get kind of gross. Even when you wash them, like you just want to get new ones. Um, so these will match our bathroom so well with like the gray and the taupe. This is kind of exactly the color of our color scheme in there. So I already immediately, <laughs> when I got back, gave Bruno one of these smart bones. These were such a steal. I love getting the smart bones. They have no rawhide. Um, and this was $6.99 for a 24 pack. I feel like I spend so much more at a normal store for Bruno's treats. Um, so I already gave him one of these. <laughs> there he is. He just came in from the bathroom. Did you go BBs? Did you go BBs? Did you go BBs? Guess what? I got you something. I got you something at the store. I got you your own lamb chop. He's never had a lamb chop before. <gasps> Look it. Wow. <laughs> you want a lamb chop? <gasps> oh, you want a lamb chop? Oh, 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 oh. Ready, go. <laughs> Look at the tail. <gasps> Wow! Dogs apparently love the lamb chops, so I'm kind of curious how he's gonna feel about it. Um, all of his toys are like bigger than that, so I thought it'd be kind of interesting to get him like a bigger one and see what he thinks. His tail's wagging, so. What do you think? He's assessing the situation, sniffing its butt. <laughs> you like lamb chop? C-H-A-C-H-A -C -H -A loves lamb chops, but.
I can't say her name or he'll freak out. <laughs> you want to squeak again? You want to squeak? You want to squeak? You want to squeak? Okay, next, um, I grabbed a pair of these Cushionaire clogs. They were only $25, $24.99. They are so cute. I personally am really here for like a clog moment. I feel like when I wear my Uggs, like these ones, they have that kind of cloggy shape. And Cushionaire is so comfy. Um, they only had an 11, but it fit just fine, and especially with socks. Um, but they're so squishy and comfy. Cushioner shoes are so nice. And I feel like these look so cute with like straight leg jeans and like a t-shirt. I'm an old lady. I, I like clogs. I don't know. Sue me. I like them. And I thought about getting Burks, and these were just so much cheaper and more comfortable. So it was a good price. Okay. And then lastly, oh my God, my friend and I had some scores like so much good clearance. So I have been eyeing on Amazon. So there's like this spot on our kitchen island, like the galley part that's got no day, no decor. <laughs> and I've been trying to figure out what I want to put there because I don't want to do more greenery. I have a lot of greenery. I've just been trying to like figure out what I want to put there. So it did also come in. So we're ending this vlog on a high note. I got a piece of art to lean against the wall and then I wanted to put some sort of vase next to it. I've been eyeing one on Amazon. It was like $36 and it looked just like this. This was on sale for $8 and it's so cute. It's like a matte ceramic finish. I just, it's the perfect size because it's, I don't want something big over there. So we'll set that up. I'm gonna put the picture there. I have to go get it off the front porch. And then I also got um, a seasonal piece. I think this is so cute. This was only $9.99. And I think I want to put like a seasonal piece over on that part of the kitchen and island or kitchen counter as well. And look how cute this is. I love it. Now that we've made it to February, I feel more comfortable, you know, because I have out a couple bunnies from the Dollar Tree. But yeah, Easter is at the end of March. So I, if you want to decorate for spring now, <laughs> go for it. I have been for a while. So um, this is so cute. I love the checkered outfit and I love the little like, woven carrot the striped ears so cute and it's um got like beans in the bottom so it stays upright it's got a heavy weight to it oh, they had so much cute freaking valentines and easter stuff but we did pretty good pretty much just stuff that we needed and then the funny part <laughs> we ended up making uh homemade pickle kits with stuff from Whole Foods. <laughs> and they were so good. I'm sorry I didn't vlog it. I was really just being like present and trying to be intentional. So here's what we used and they were actually really good. So these um, Grillo's pickles. The only thing is these are very garlicky but they were the only like whole size pickles. I would do ones that are not as garlicky. These are amazing on their own. Not quite for the pickle challenge but it did work for what we needed. Then we put in some of these chili lime faux talkies, which was great, chamoy, and it was really good from Siete. And they also, I needed more tahini anyway. And then sour rings, cause that was the only sour candy they had, and then wrapped it in these. Oh my God, it was so good. So if you wanna make one, cause I, the, all, I feel like all the comments in like the chamoy pickle videos are like so much red dye 40. So you can make them without the red dye 40, cause none of this had red dye 40 so not that you can't have that but if you didn't want to this is an option you can go to a regular grocery store and get the stuff to kind of finagle it yourself and it was really good i'm sorry i didn't vlog it but very good so let me let me set up my little spot for the decor let me show you first and foremost the empty space so next to the air fryer in between the sink this little spot right here. So let's go get the artwork. It should be at the front door. It should be at the front door. Oh my God, who's so happy? Who's so happy? You're beautiful. We got it, you guys. Okay, so this is so cute and they had so many different ones here. Whoa, this was such, oh, it's so cute. This was such a great find, you guys, and such a good price. Cause you guys know art is like, Expansive. So if you're someone like me who likes to constantly, you know, change up your decor, um, 
and you want something for a good price, this is amazing. They had so many cute variations and sizes. It's so on brand with this over here, but I feel like they're different enough and they're gonna be on opposite sides of the kitchen. You guys also told me you think that these look like pears, not oranges, and I can kind of see it on this one. I don't know, I don't know. But this one has um, multiple fruits. They had a pomegranate one too, but I liked this one a little bit more and I like the green in it. So I was gonna like pop this right here. Oh, that's like the perfect, per oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. And then I was just gonna like boop my little guy here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I left one of these on. Where do I wanna put, I kind of like to just arrange arrange things so cute i want to make his ear a little floppy okay so i absolutely love 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 the painting i feel like this doesn't actually work here <laughs> i really thought it would but it definitely doesn't i will totally find another spot for this though because i absolutely love it and it was such a great deal um but i do love my little bunny there and i definitely love the painting so we will see what else we find. I feel like I just need something like small right here, but maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Anyway, the painting is a 10 out of 10. So really good price. Check out the ones, um, I'll link it and all the other ones they have if you need like some good art. But anyway, I gotta edit this vlog. So I'm glad we ended it on a little bit more of a fun note, but I'm going out with my mom tomorrow. So the next vlog will be more fun. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.